Today, I'm gonna show you how to create your very own link and bio page using WordPress and Elementor. This is perfect for anyone who's looking to showcase multiple important links on their social media profiles. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll have a fully functional, customizable link page that keeps traffic on your website. No third-party tools required. Let's go ahead and get started. Why paid link and bio platforms might not be worth it. Let's take a moment to talk about paid link and bio platforms for for a second, like Beacons, Linktree, and Link.bio. These platforms are popular amongst creators because they offer easy ways to share multiple links, but their true cost and ultimate limitations might surprise you. Hidden costs add up quickly. Beacons Creator Pro. The plan costs $8.33 per month when billed annually, or $10 per month if billed monthly. To access features like custom domains, analytics, and email automations, you have to pay even more for their store pro plan at $25 per month. Linktree Pro Plan is $9 per month, and while it offers customization and analytics, you're essentially paying for what is still a very basic functionality, linking multiple URLs. Link.bio Unique Plan requires a $24.99 one-time fee to unlock better branding and features, and even that doesn't include advanced tools like a custom domain, which costs an extra $39.99 annually. Now, these costs can quickly add up, especially if you want access to advanced analytics, better design design options, or e-commerce tools. Limited functionality with high prices. While these platforms are convenient, they're often just that, convenient. Most paid plans are still limited to creating a simple page with links and basic branding. But instead, if you wanna create a fully functioning website, own your data without paying transaction or seller fees, and avoid third-party branding on your page, then these platforms are not gonna be the answer. Because most of these platforms, unless you pay for their higher tier plans, which can cost as much as $90 per month, you're not going to get those features. The Elementor plus WordPress advantage. Now, here's where things get exciting. By using Elementor with WordPress, you can create a link and bio page and so much more. With this method, you get no monthly fees other than just your hosting plan. So you can build and host your page without worrying about recurring payments to third-party platforms. You get full ownership. Your page lives on your website. No third-party logos, no seller fees, and no worrying about platform changes or shutdowns. Unlimited customization. With Elementor, Mentor, you can design your link and bio page exactly the way you want with no restrictions on branding, layout, or functionality. You also get a full website. So your link and bio page can be just one part of your larger website. From blogs to stores to appointment bookings, possibilities are really endless. So why settle for just links when you can create an entire ecosystem for your brand? Cost comparison. Let's break it down. With a hosting plan and Elementor's free plan, you can build a highly functional website with unlimited potential. Compare that to paying monthly fees for platforms like Beacons or Linktree, which only offer a fraction of the functionality. By investing in your own website, you're not just saving money, you're also building a sustainable, professional online presence. And if you don't have a WordPress site yet, then we highly recommend either Bluehost or Hostinger, which are two very affordable options to host your WordPress website. So if you wanna get started with Hostinger, just click the link for it down below in the description. That's gonna bring you to this page right here, where at the time of recording, there's still running their biggest ever Cyber Week sale. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. You can get up to 85% off hosting plans plus their website builder. So to do so, just click on claim the deal and you can come down here and choose from any of their three plans, whether that's the premium plan, the business plan, or the cloud startup plan. Now, for most of you, if this is your first website or you're just looking to get that link and bio feature, then the premium plan is going to be more than enough. So let's go ahead and choose that plan. Now, lastly here, you just want to select how long you want to commit to, whether that's one month, 12 months, months, 24 months, or 48 months. For this option, let's just do 12 months. And then the last thing you want to do is come over here and type in startup wise in the coupon code area, click apply. And then for only $26 and 46 cents, you're going to get a full year of hosting on Hostinger. Now Hostinger also has a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can try it out, see if it's right for you and make your decision within those first 30 days. Now, if you want to get started with Bluehost, which is another fantastic option for web hosting, especially if you're planning to use WordPress. Now, right now, now you can go ahead and get started on their basic plan for $2.95 per month at the time of recording, which is going to be more than enough for most of you. If you wanted to step it up, you can get their Choice Plus plan at $3.95 per month. But again, if this is your very first website, then the basic plan should be more than enough. While paid link and bio platforms might seem like a quick and easy solution, they're ultimately limited and expensive. By following the method in this tutorial, you'll get a customized link and bio page that doesn't just link, it builds your brand. So for this example, I'm going to be using Hostinger, WordPress, and 
and Elementor to make this all happen. Once you go ahead and choose your hosting or plan by using the link down below in the description, your hosting or dashboard is gonna look something like this. And what we wanna do is go ahead and add a new website. So under website, I'm gonna go ahead and click on add website and select hosting -er. Next, just go ahead and create a login for your WordPress account and click next. And then here it's gonna ask you what type of store you wanna build, whether that's business and services, online store, a blog, portfolio, or other. We'll go ahead and select blog for this and click next. And then here it's gonna ask us which theme that we wanna choose. And we can either build it from scratch or scroll through here. And for this example, it doesn't really matter. So we'll go ahead and just select this one. It looks good enough. Now here's where we wanna go ahead and add something. So here we just wanna go ahead and add Elementor as a plugin for WordPress. And we'll go ahead and select that. We'll also go ahead and select this essential add-ons for Elementor, which we probably won't use in this video, but it's good to have if you're going to go ahead and get started with WordPress and Elementor. We'll go ahead and click next. Now here you can go ahead and use a custom domain if you have one. If you sign up for hosting or you get a free domain for the first year. So you can go ahead and use that here. I'm gonna go ahead and just use a temporary domain for this example. Now just give it a second here to go ahead and install WordPress. And then we'll go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Okay, and after a few minutes, WordPress has gone ahead and been installed. Moving into step one, we're gonna go ahead and set up a new page. So we'll come over here to pages and we can come up here to the top and click on add new. And then up here at the top, this is where we wanna click on edit with Elementor. And then it's gonna go ahead and open up Elementor. All right, and so now we are here inside of Elementor. So step two, we want to start with a blank page. So as you can see, we have this menu bar up at the top here, which we really don't want. So to ensure a clean and distraction free design, we'll go ahead and hide the header in the footer of the page. Here's how to do it. In Elementor editor, we're going to click on the gear icon to access the page settings. And under page layout, we're going to select Elementor canvas. This will give you a blank slate to work on. So after you do that, we can go ahead and start building. So to find that, we're going to come up here to the top and click on this little gear item here. And over here where it says page layout, this is where we want to switch this to Elementor Canvas. Now, as you can see, we have a completely blank page, which is exactly what we want. Moving on to step three, we're going to set up the page structure. So we'll begin by creating the framework for your link and bio page. So we want to add a new section with one column. So we'll go ahead, come over here, and we can go ahead and just drop a container here, just like so. So the first thing we want to do is come over here to the width, and we're going to set this to 500 pixels. That's going to be a good width to show on mobile. This is going to keep everything compact and nice and centered. So now that we've got the basic structure, it's time to add some content. Step four, we're going to add an image. So let's go ahead and personalize this page by adding an image like a profile picture or a logo. Here's how. So to go ahead and get started with that, we're going to go ahead and drag the image widget over here, just like so. Now to go ahead and change this image, we're going to click on choose image right here. And we can either select files or upload files. And I'm just going to drop this picture right here, which is a recent profile picture that I created. And there we go. Now this is already in a circular format, we're actually going to go ahead and choose a more rectangular picture so that you can go ahead and see how you can create this circle using Elementor. So go ahead and drag this more rectangular picture in here. And we'll go ahead and click select. So as you can see, we have a rectangular picture here. But now we want to turn it into a circle. And we can do so very easily just by selecting the image and coming over here to advanced, we'll go ahead and close this layout section and come over to mask, we'll go ahead ahead and turn on for circle and we go ahead and change that scale down to something like that. And that's how you can go ahead and create a circle around your image to make it look more like a profile picture. Moving on to step five, we're going to add our first button. Now it's time to add the actual links. So we'll start by adding the first button. So we're going to go ahead and drag the button widget under the image. So we'll come over here to our left hand side here and select on button and we'll go ahead and drop that right below the image here. For now, we'll go ahead and just call this link number one. Now, what we're going to want to do here is we'll come to style. And then here we'll go ahead and position this in the center to go ahead and change the typography. You can go ahead and click on this little pencil here next to typography and change this to whatever font you would like. You can go ahead and change the size and all that. So maybe we'll go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger here, maybe something like 24. That looks like a decent size. And then to change the background color of that button, you can come in here and change this. So we'll go ahead and just change it to something simple. So it's like black and white and just like that. This button button here is looking a little too narrow. So what we're going to do, we'll come back over here to the style and we'll go ahead and click this to stretch. That way it'll be the full length of the 500 pixels of this container that we created. Now, just to make sure that there's enough room around it, we'll come over here to the advanced tab. We'll go ahead and unlink the padding. And then at the top, we'll go ahead and add five and we'll add five to the bottom as well. Now, if we go ahead and click back on the button here and we come to the content right here, this is where you go ahead and paste the link that you'd want for this first link here in this section. So maybe you have a free 
lead magnet or a link to an article, you can go ahead and link that here. Now, what's really cool if you wanted to add something from your WordPress website is you can go ahead and just type, start typing the name of the page exactly as it appears in your WordPress and it'll start to show up here. So for example, if I type something like home and go ahead and select the home page, this link will then when that button is clicked, it'll take me to the home page of my WordPress website. Okay, so now we have our first button here. We can go ahead and press Command D on a Mac to go ahead and make multiple links here. So go ahead and duplicate that for as many buttons as you'd like. Then just remember to go in and change the text and go ahead and change the links for each of those. Now, after looking at this, it looks like there's a bit too much space in between there. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command Z or I could just go ahead and delete these other buttons here. And we'll come back here to this first button and we'll go ahead and remove some of that padding. Maybe we'll do something like two on the bottom and two on the top. Now we'll go ahead and click that button again and press Command D and that looks like a little bit better spacing. Now let's say you wanted to create just one link in bio that you could paste on your multiple different social media profiles, but you wanted to have links in there to go to each of those social media profiles. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create an icon that is a button that you can go ahead and click and take to your other different social media profiles. So to first go and do that, we'll go to add element and we'll come in here to grid and we'll go ahead and add that just below the profile picture. Now we'll go ahead and do an example here for three different social media profiles. So we're gonna want three columns in one row. We have three columns and we'll go ahead and just turn this rows from two down to one. Now in here, in this first one, we we'll go ahead and click on the icon. That's what we're looking for. Or we go ahead and drag it there. And to go ahead and we can go ahead and click on here and we'll search for Instagram and we'll click on that and hit insert. And we'll come here over to style and we'll center that. And we'll go ahead and change this color to black. Now, if we come back over here to the content section, you can go ahead and go to your Instagram profile and get the shareable link to your profile and you'd paste that right here. So when you click on that button, it'll take you to your Instagram profile. Next, we'll go ahead and add a, another icon in the middle there and we'll go ahead and choose the icon. We'll go ahead and search for TikTok and click insert. Come over here to style, change that color to black. And again, you wanna come back here to content and paste your TikTok profile link there. We'll go ahead and add our third and final icon here. So we'll drag another icon into that third column, go to the icon library. We'll look for YouTube, hit insert. Again, change that color to black and come back to the content. And this is where you go ahead and paste that link. And this is looking pretty good so far. Okay, customizing button design. So if you want your buttons to look great and stay stand out, you can go ahead and style them further. So we'll go ahead and set the buttons hover state under style and hover. So with our first button here selected, we'll come over here to style. Now, if we scroll down here, when we go to hover, this is where we can go and change this color. So when we go ahead and hover over this first one, we can change the background color to white, and then we'll change the text color to black. So that when we hover over this, we can see that it just goes opposite. So that's just one way that you can go ahead and design your button buttons to stand out even more. Now, obviously you can take this as far as you want, but this is just some simple tips to go ahead and make a link in bio to really stand out. Next, optimize for mobile and tablet. So your link in bio page should look great on any device. And here's how to make sure it's mobile friendly. In Elementor, you can either use the shortcut control or command shift and M to switch to responsive mode, or you can come up here to click on the tablet mode or the mobile mode. And as you can see, everything fits on here pretty nicely. Now, the only thing that I I want to change is these columns here. I want those to be horizontal and not vertical. So to go ahead and make this the three columns like we had here on the desktop view, we'll go ahead and come to the mobile view and we'll click on this container button here. Could also do so by clicking on the structure over here. And as you can see, the columns got switched to one. So we'll go ahead and switch that to three. And now you can see we have that three column structure like we had earlier. So again, you just want to preview your page in all of these different views, whether that's desktop, tablet, or mobile. And this way, as you can see, everything is looking really nice. And that's it. Your page is now optimized for all devices. Next, publish and update your link in bio. So once you're happy with the design, go ahead and click publish to make your page live. To update your Instagram bio link, just log in to your Instagram account, go to edit profile and update the website field with the URL of your new link in bio page. Now, whenever someone clicks on your bio link, they will be taken directly to this page where you have all your important links displayed. No need for a third party tool or constant update. Well, congratulations, you just created a custom link in bio page using WordPress and Elementor. Now this page not only keeps your audience engaged with your brand, but it also eliminates the need for external link services. Plus it's completely customizable, so you can update or tweak it anytime to fit your needs. Now, if you wanna get started with Hostinger or Bluehost, you'll find
find links for them down in the description. These are affiliate links, which means that we earn a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue creating free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another update. Here on this channel, we make videos dedicated to helping new and existing entrepreneurs get started and succeed in business, so be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you here in the next video.